Well, I consider myself to be the world champion of braking elastics. Right, so we've got the elastic threaded through, we've got the uh, connector puller um, bead connected to the other end. So what I'm going to do is take out a certain amount of stretch out of this elastic. So I'm going to just grip the elastic and then pull it until it's being stretched. I'll take a certain amount of stretch out of it. Don't have to, don't have to go crazy. You just don't want. This is a, this is a normal way of kind of putting a, uh, the elastic in. Now I know when I'm carp fishing, I use about I don't know a couple of foot of elastic past the bead, so the uh, the fish can take a little bit more elastic, mainly because I've got short top kits. But I even do it on long top kits, so it doesn't matter. But then. Then again, I am fishing for slightly bigger fish than normal. So, anyway, well, I'll take the slack out. Now, all I've got now is it just goes back in as per normal. So, I'm going to cut. I'm just going to cut the end off of this. Okay, if it's a little bit longer than normal, doesn't matter. You just pull a bit out of the... Uh, a little bit out of the uh, bead at the other end, okay. Right now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a figure of eight, just a figure of eight uh, knot, so it's not a single over end knot, just a figure of eight knot, so you just go around once and then back through the loop, and we've got a figure of eight knot, okay. I prefer figure eight knots because they don't break. Right. Okay, let's uh, move that out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to cut that quite close, moving about a millimetre. <coughs> and I should take the, uh, the new connector. Okay. Just, I'll just push it in so it comes out away from the uh, little stalk it's on. Now I'll grip both of those little loops that come off the end. So now I've got two little loops in my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this through the two little loops. Okay, so it's now dangling on there. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to slide right the way down until it reaches the knot. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it, and you feel the the connector sort of turn inside out. Okay, and that's it. It's on. I'm not going to pull it any tighter than that because that's I think what I was doing before was I was absolutely pulling that as tight as anything and it was cutting through the elastic okay this is this is what I don't get with people that just put the the monofilament behind there just like a uh, just just basically doing that with the mono and putting it behind there and, uh, I think one day they're gonna lose a big big fish because the mono the end of the rig is in a cut through. Right, so now, <coughs> excuse me, right, now we're going to pull the, just that little bead that just tips over. And if, if it's all the right size, like the elastic, everything else is the right size for the bead, you should feel that click. Yep, there it goes, you've got the click. And that's it. Nothing hanging out. Now you can give that a test now if you want to, I mean you can pull it as hard as you like. That is not going to come off, no way in the world. And what the fact, you've got a little tiny bit thicker line. That's, you know, your your mono is not going to cut through that. That is actually braid. Uh, that's a coated braid. So, uh, there you go, and that's it, that's on. Job done. 
Right, I hope that's uh, helped someone out, but that is that is the main thing. The main thing is not to pull that when you're actually putting this on so tight that it's going to cut into it. And that's what's going to, you know, that's what happens. Another thing, before you start using it, if you've, you know, if it's been in there a while, just, just check, just pull the end of the elastic and you can check. This is the bit that really takes all the hammering because this is the bit that goes, this, this taking all the bend and everything else and what the fact you've probably got a feeding cup on the end of there and it's probably been wrapped around a feeding cup a few times. This is the bit that takes the, the, the main hammering, what the facts. Normally when you, when, when you've hooked a fish, you've got a bit hanging out at the end because it's stretchy elastic so that bit's going to be in the sun uh, and it's the sun that basically perishes in more than anything the sun that's it and since I've been putting on put them on that way uh, without pulling them too tight I have not broke an elastic and I've taken I've taken carp to well over 20 pound so uh, I've, I've probably lost carp to a level 20 per. Um, but there, there you go, that's, that's it, that's the way I do it. If it's also one out, great. Catch <laughs> you later, mate.